Hello there and welcome to another edition of Platypus, our narrowboat adventure. Now since our last video we have continued cruising down the Trenton Mersey Canal, pretty much trouble free, except for running out of fuel which did cause me some running issues, but that's all behind us now. But it is getting a little bit cold on boat as it is approaching October, so we do need to get some heat. So I bought us a uh, multi-fuel stove that I'm going to get fitted and uh, let's see how we get on. Your job is to clean up after me though. Right. I ain't got nothing to clean up with. Well, I organised all the things I needed. Why didn't you organise the things you were going to do? I did, I bought my wine. And my ibuprofen for my cold. Thingy, please. Thing me jiggers, you mean the, the metal pipe. Would you like me to stand up on this occasion to pass it to you? Well, I think you've got the energy to do so. I'm sleeping all the way here. <laughs> I did no such thing. <laughs> I'm relatively relaxed, even though there is four holes in our roof. Um, this is holes. Massive, massive holes, yes, massive, for our uh, log burner. That's log burner, not dog burner. My biggest concern at the moment is that the shitter is well and truly full, stuffed to capacity, slightly overflowing. Well, luckily, we've established whose job that is, haven't we? The man's job. Dan believes that due to his technical prowess, that uh, as I'm unable to fit said log burner, I have to empty the shitter. Me. I'll stand up to provide you with the pipe. Oh. Bent from the knees. Bent from the knees. Ta da! Hmm. And that's fantastic. And would you like to explain to the video why there is why what? the massive hole? So that we can then. Yes, you not don't have the heated pipe attached to the. We don't, yeah, we don't want the pipe actually touching the wood. Let's see, it will get set in fire. Do you want me to do anything else? Not currently. No. Okie dokie. Nay! <laughs> Straightish? As straight as you can get in a wonky narrow boat. No, but these look okay though. Oh, yes, aesthetically, it looks perfect. Oh, so I know this moves around, but once I put the other bit in it, why? Yeah. Bang on, oh, darling. Bang on. The one's out so that should hold like that. Yeah. And that'd be rigid. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have got the fire going. The twisted fire starter managed to do it. He's Trying done to make it a cup of tea. Yeah, I've done it riddle style. I read some stuff online. I thought now I'll do it my way. Hey presto. Have a little look inside. Look at that glow. Beautiful. Sometimes freestyle is the best way. Freestyle. Because each thing's different. I burnt my ear on that. That was just stupidity. So then I had to order, woman, get up and make me breakfast. So she's got up to make me breakfast. I'm hungry, I need to eat something. As well as uh, get up to make me breakfast. He needs to be making me tea. I'm making the tea. He doesn't have a name, he's called he, until I've had my cup of tea. I'm so hot, I had to take the majority of my clothes off. <laughs> That's not one for the Canal Trust. Dave just flakes out. Dave, go okay, worth. After possibly eating a poison mushroom yesterday. Possibly. But he's okay. still alive, so. This is outside our vessel, our craft, our buoyant home. Curtains are pulled. Just one in my pants. Shit's the other way. Oh, yeah, we, we, we emptied the shitter yesterday. 
Um, it leaked all inside the car. Don't yeah. tell anyone at work. But we need to clean it off and get it all done. Anyway, see you soon. Mm. Oh. Right. As you can see, you nice know, chimney on top of our boat now. Once we made the roof red, like we planned to, it'll all go in really nicely, I think. Maybe I've shifted around this side, I'll show you how it looks. Slightly further on from where we moored up to do our stove is the Harecastle Tunnel. The Harecastle Tunnel is 2.4 kilometres long, one of the longest ones on the network. It was constructed a long, long time ago, back in 1827. It was originally made up of two tunnels, but only one is we able to go through nowadays. Now, the second tunnel is, is all boarded up. You can see it from, from where the tunnel is, but it can't be used any longer. It's got uh, quite a reputation, this tunnel. Um, I've read quite a lot online, um, and it gets very, very narrow and very, very low particularly in the middle. They closed the door at, at the, uh, the south end um, and put on extractive fans to, to help with the airflow. Uh, but that does make it even darker. You can't even see that dot in the distance to see where you're getting onto. But uh, we got through it, uh, so see how we've got on. Grinding Dan style, take two. Stressing up the importance of eyewear, of which none of us are wearing. The reason for doing this is so we can travel through a tunnel. Uh, most canal boats you'll find have a removable funnel. We have not, so we're removing it our way. will be replaced at a later date, obviously, but it's done. All Dan's initial hard work. And we have a little stump left. So this morning we woke up bright and early to find that during Dan's morning checks, the horn stopped working. So we had a bit of a lack of power to that, but as per usual, Super Dan has fixed it and we're, we're not going to use it until we get near the tunnel because we don't want it to break again. And uh, this morning we found that we had a loose wire on the extension cable slash generator 
So I ran all of about 20 meters to the car. That's my exercise done for the day. Week. <laughs> to provide Super Dan with his uh, toolbox. And as you can see, it's now fixed. And what a cute little stump it is. It's quite a cute size, that. Yeah, I'm not sure it's too, too small though, that's the problem. Obviously that connects to our only source of heating for the boat during the winter period. So therefore it's absolutely crucial. Cute. How are you doing? You're right. Hi, you're right. Morning. Hi. Bertie, come on. Come on. Oh, Bertie. It's walkies. Not stop and stare. <laughs> come on, Bertie. chimney so uh, if we wouldn't bash it and then the hall will work so I had to go around and get that working with the connections working perfectly now so uh, now off for a pull over shortly and have a nice bit of breakfast I'm starving thanks guys bye Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of our new subscribers. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.